today we have the holy mass of first friday first friday we reflect on the sacred heart of jesus that jesus he needs love he makes his heart sacred by his love for the loveless his heart became sacred for willingly committing his life to die for all of us a heart the love that gave everything of himself for us that we his children may see that heart and pray and strive to be like that heart he loves me though imperfect i am i am being loved by a perfect god and i pray lord make me a person of lovable like you that is the meaning of sacred heart as we come into the presence of god let's then let's then get wet in the great love of the lord let be drowned in that deep love that accepts us as we are imperfect what we are is being loved by a perfect god he is faithful to us let's then have full of faith on him please be seated nahum is a great prophet and nahum is a wonderful book written purposely to tell the whole world when the leaders do not lead his people how the people can be scattered and destroyed so as god's people as god's mission carriers we are we have a special blessing we have a special anointing we have a special grace along with that there is also special responsibility the responsibility to gather those who are broken in world to take him back to the lord outside the world they see the dark clouds and get frightened but god's children see the rain and prepare the crowd for it in this world we find everywhere people are broken people are disturbed people are wounded people are helpless when the dark clouds are seen god enables birds to show their might peacocks begin to dance and show its might when the sun stops the dark clouds gathers god tells the peacock to show its beauty that people in the world should not get frightened of the dark clouds the birds begin to chirp in a unique way when the clouds come and the earth begins to give a sweet smell with a little drops of water that comes from the clouds everything in the world tries its best 
to bring goodness out of nothing tries to bring solace where there is brokenness that's why the bible says even if you don't go for a marriage it's okay go to the house of a dead person yes god invites each one of us to be sensitive to the heart of god and to enter into the lives of people be the rainbow in the dark clouds of someone be the rainbow in the dark clouds of others be the lotus in the dirty water the lotus keeps its dirt and comes up let not people see the dirt and close their nose but let them see the beauty of the lotus and praise god we are living in a world which is disturbed which is broken the bible says in the book of romans chapter 5 verse 7 and 8 while we are still sinners jesus loved us not because we are lovable he loved us while we are still sinners he loved us and proved us what is this love is all about and that's why in second corinthian chapter 5 verse 18 he says take this ministry as your ministry of healing the broken hearted and helping people to reconcile with each other and that is all about the sacred heart of jesus that's what god cries to nahum my elders my leaders they see my people are broken they are scattered they are wounded but they are not bothered to heal the wounds to bind their wounds to speak words of comfort a man who is lying in the dirt doesn't need the advice why did you fall inside he needs a hand to pull him out of a man who is unknowingly has fallen and broken his leg he doesn't need advice don't you have the sense how can you fall from there no he needs a hand to take him to the doctor while we are still sinners he died for us when the prodigal son returned back the father loved him but the elder son said about his younger son that he lived and wasted the money with the prostitutes and drinks but not the father the father never said those painful words those hurting words came from the elder brother not from the father today as we celebrate this holy mass jesus says all those who are willing to lose themselves they gain the person who are lost i argue with doris and tell her doris you are wrong doris tells me no father i am right i can understand i don't know in what circumstances happen to my mind i know it's wrong but she is my daughter it is the duty of the father can correct to a level but she is going through certain pain so i hold her to myself and say okay daughter do what is best 
not that i approve her but i learn to be with her god wants each one of us we may not approve everything but let we not leave for the plot of the world let's be with one another let's build up one another let's encourage and heal the wounds of each other i can go on argue with her she may tell because she has love for me because she has respect for me okay father i am sorry but in the depth of her heart she knows i have not done anything and my daddy did not understand me next time she will never even come and tell me even the little sharing what she had with me she will close it the world sees the dirt in another can you be someone to remove the dirt of the another can i be the send everyone tries to move away because of the bad smell if somebody is giving bad smell why can't you go with your good scent an invitation the lord says when you go with your good scent your scent will lose its power in the dirt but those who live in the dirt they be able to breathe b b the rainbow in the dark cloud be a peacock to open your beauty in the moment the sun fails to show its light when things are going wrong be a clown be a joker be a person brings laughter fun and love the world needs you the world needs your love the world needs your understanding the world needs your forgiveness will you be generous the heart of jesus ask each one of us